The alert ripples through every astronomy network almost instantly. A strange new object has appeared on the Atlas survey screens in Chile. At first, it's just a faint, drifting speck against the background stars. But within hours, the data begins to move in ways no one expects. Observatories across the globe erupt into motion. Schedules are rewritten, telescope arrays are repointed, and entire teams are recalled from their homes. This isn't how routine comets are handled. Something about this detection feels different. By the end of the first day, reports are coming in from Hawaii, Spain, Japan, and Australia. By the end of the first week, more than 200 telescopes have locked onto a single moving point of emerald light. It's not faint anymore. It's brightening, fast. Something extraordinary is unfolding in real time. The classification priority escalates rapidly. From elevated to critical, and then something never seen before, level 5. A level reserved only for events where all known explanations begin to fail. Not even Oumuamua in 2017 or Borisov in 2019 reached this stage. Level 5 means the unknown has arrived. It signifies multiple, independent anomalies stacking together, chemistry, motion, light signature, and geometry, all defying what nature should allow. Every available instrument is ordered to pivot toward the object before it disappears forever. On August 6, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope abandons its cute observations to join the chase. Moments later, Hubble redirects. The European Southern Observatory's very large telescope in Chile follows. Spherex, the brand new infrared surveyor, drops its mission plan entirely. Ground-based observatories from Palomar to Gemini South burn through their precious nights, sending back data at a relentless pace. Even amateur astronomers, backyard observers with modest gear, coordinate their efforts through online networks, feeding images into the global system. In just three weeks, over 4,000 precise measurements pour in from 227 observatories. The object finally receives a formal designation, 3I, Atlas. The 3I marks it as the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever detected. Its orbit is hyperbolic, unbound to our Sun. It has come from somewhere beyond the stars that cradle our solar system, and after October, it will never return. Humanity has one chance to study it. But there's a reason for the level 5 alert. Within days, 3I, ATLAS begins to challenge every model ever built for interstellar comets. Its chemistry is unlike anything recorded, its trajectory precise yet unsettling, and its behavior so alien that astronomers stop calling it a comet at all. Whispers spread through mission control rooms, questions no one dares to voice aloud but everyone is calculating silently. This is no longer scientific curiosity. It's a race against time to understand what we are seeing before it vanishes forever. Here's how scientists measure the anomaly. Every interstellar object is scored against five critical parameters. Non-gravitational acceleration, volatile composition, metal signatures, orbital geometry, and early activity distance. Oumuamua showed mysterious acceleration without visible outgassing. Borisov behaved like a normal comet, icy, predictable, ordinary. But 3I, Atlas? It lights up every red flag. Its acceleration is exceptionally low, implying a massive, dense nucleus, perhaps 5 kilometers across, far larger than its predecessors. Its volatile composition is bizarre, 95% carbon dioxide and only 5% water the exact reverse of any comet ever catalogued in the solar system. Spectral scans from Chile detect nickel in the surrounding coma, but no iron. Such separation doesn't happen naturally. On Earth, it only occurs through industrial refining. Its orbit slices through the ecliptic plane at just 5 degrees, 
threading almost perfectly through the path of the planets, a statistical improbability. And its activity begins at an astonishing distance, 4.5 astronomical units, farther than Jupiter's orbit. It's shedding material long before sunlight could heat it enough to sublimate. Each anomaly alone could be explained away as an extreme coincidence. But five, all at once? That's a level five event. Scientists move fast. They deployed two key methods, polarimetry and stellar occultation. Polarimetry measures how sunlight scatters off dust grains in the coma. From this, astronomers can infer the shape, size, and chemical texture of particles. Any deviation could mean unknown chemistry, perhaps metallic dust or structured materials. Stellar occultation occurs when the comet passes in front of background stars, momentarily dimming their light. By timing these dips across multiple telescopes, the nucleus's shape and size can be mapped precisely. A rare opportunity emerges on October 3rd. Mars drifts near the comet's trajectory, just 28 million kilometers away. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter prepares to capture high-resolution imaging, possibly revealing the coma's inner structure. Venus will offer another vantage point on November 3rd. Jupiter, in March 2026, may complete the triangulation, three worlds giving us three angles of truth. Meanwhile, the object's distinct green glow deepens in color. Normally, such light is caused by diatomic carbon, C2, fluorescing under ultraviolet radiation. But Atlas lacks C2 and cyanogen, the usual culprits. Whatever drives that emerald luminescence, it isn't chemistry we understand. Then comes the nickel-iron mystery. In every known comet, nickel and iron coexist, born from ancient stellar forges. But here, iron is absent. Nature doesn't separate them easily. On Earth, only smelting or refinement does. The data hint at something manufactured or formed under conditions alien to any solar furnace. Trajectory adds to the intrigue. Its near-ecliptic path gives us a perfect observational corridor from Mars, Venus, and even Jupiter. Some scientists quietly propose a daring possibility. If Juno, orbiting Jupiter, performs a deep space maneuver by late 2025, it could intercept the object by March 2026. It would be humanity's first encounter with a visitor from beyond our galaxy. Tests for artificiality intensify. Radio telescopes listen for narrowband transmissions. Spectral analysis hunts for specular reflections, glints that could reveal metallic surfaces. Infrared sensors scan for constant thrust signatures, patterns too stable to be natural. So far, nothing confirms intelligent design. But nothing rules it out, either. This goes far beyond curiosity. Each interstellar object reshapes our understanding of how planets form, what elements fill alien systems, and how we might one day travel between the stars ourselves. Five numbers summarize the story so far. Inbound speed, 68 kilometers per second. Closest approach, 1.36 astronomical units. Size range, between 1 and 5 kilometers. Carbon dioxide to hydrogen oxide ratio, 95 to 5, a chemical riddle. Orbital inclination, 5 degrees, near perfect alignment with the plane of the planets. Level 5 isn't just a label. It's a global call to arms. It mobilizes telescopes, reprograms satellites, and unites amateurs and professionals under one cosmic goal, to record everything before 3i, ATLAS disappears back into the dark. This object stands apart. Oumuamua arrived too late to study. Borisov was ordinary. But 3i, Atlas is immense, unpredictable, and strangely deliberate. Its anomalies stretch the limits of science, yet every new test draws us closer to an answer. 
This is how discovery works, not through fear, but through curiosity and precision. Every data point, every photon captured, brings us closer to understanding what this traveler truly is. As September turns to October, the intensity grows. New observations arrive every hour. Each reveals another layer of the enigma. Polarimetric data show the dust isn't fluffy like a comet's tail, nor rocky like an asteroid. It's something in between, structured, almost engineered. The implications are staggering. Whatever formed 3i, Atlas, it was born under conditions nothing like those of our Sun. By early October, the first stellar occultations are underway. Teams across Europe, Africa, and South America wait in silence for the faintest flicker of starlight. Each tiny dip adds one more line to the outline of a mystery millions of years old. Preliminary data suggest the nucleus may be on the upper end of estimates, closer to 5 kilometers wide. Enormous. Dense. Heavy. And unlike anything we've ever seen drifting through the solar system. The story of 3i, Atlas is still unfolding. But one thing is already clear, it's rewriting everything we thought we knew about what waits between the stars.